Hey guys, Jeff here for iPlayZone and we're back with part 2 of chapter 1 of the room 3 those were a lot of numbers right there and we are in the room that we were left behind in the last chapter and yeah, let's get started I guess we're in front of this nice little table and the first thing you want to check out is on the left hand side there's like this little opening with your right hand you can move this thing to the right and with the left hand you can just simply open up the lock here here we go so this one is opened up let's look inside and take the wooden gear with us which we can now use on the middle of the table to go full game of thrones mode so let's turn this thing around and should get started here we go yep this looks a lot like game of thrones i actually do enjoy the animations to be honest even though it is kind of ripped off I still think it looks quite cool, it's a nice nice touch and a cool way to start off with the puzzles of this game and especially this chapter. So yeah, the first thing you want to do is zoom out here and check on the left hand side there on the floor. There's like this little board with pyre written on it. You can move this away to get a sphere suspended. The pyre is the name of the tower here, which is going to be important for a quiz later on, for a puzzle later on. But for now, check out the sphere that you just got and spin it around. Now spin it even more around after putting it upside down and get the magnet from inside the sphere. We are going to use that one later on. But for now, let's check back to the table on, on the left hand side. You will see that there's this mill house where you can spin around the wheel here to open up a door on the left hand side which you can go through by just using your lens and going inside inside here this is one of several puzzles here with animals that have to be in some way activated so here we are with a rattlesnake and the first thing you want to do is just well take the tail of the rattlesnake and pull it out then spin around the middle portion so that the snake shows its head and yeah just press the button on the head of the snake to get one of several key items for this nice chapter yep after getting that just head back out here and the video is kind of freezing here I don't know why I'm sorry about that I don't know why it is freezing well anyway now go to the right hand side there's a table in the background just go to the little machine there and check the clue it says that uh, the name of the tower is basically the solution to this puzzle so in order to solve this just align the nice little icons here in order to get the icons uh, to get the letters that you want so the trick here is to just move the well to just aim aim the little arrows towards the goal that you want to get so now we want want to get the Y which is the bottommost and the topmost arrow then the R as I said you get the clue that Pyre is the name of the tower by just checking the little um, on, on the floor the little table on the floor yup now we've got Pyre this machine is going to open up a new slot where we can get a nice wooden arc out of now let's head back out and to the middle of the table checking the middle of the table on the left hand side there is like a uh, little carvings on the ground you can check that and see that there is something that you can put inside put in the arc turn it around and you will get a lot of pillars now again use your lens to go inside the area and you will see that the pillars have like two little icons on them the trick here I, I was it was kind of flickery it didn't really work out for me the way I wanted it to do and um, the trick here is to just press the two buttons at the same time and once you do that you will get an image and you can just go to the plate in the middle and just enter the image that you just saw for for the quest right now it was like the B shape thingy just put it inside just move from one edge to the other just paint it in in some way so just do this for the second and the third pillar again it is kind of it was kind of annoying for me to get to get this thing activated so here we are again just enter what you just saw 
here we go and the second of the three pillars is activated now for the final one again pressing those two buttons really wasn't so easy for me <laughs> was kind of I, I don't know why it was so difficult for me to get that but it, it really was difficult but well there are there are puzzles quite more difficult than that I guess so now head back to the middle enter the 8 or the sand clock or whatever that is and there is going to be a new tower here filled with great funny puzzles that we are going to solve and yeah let's get started with the first puzzle here as you can see if you look around here there is like this uh, looking like a compass in some way just use your lens here to see that there are letter, uh, letters, <laughs> uh, letters written here you can turn it around by just pressing the button in the middle so try to create north, east, south, west. The letters have to be just aligned to say, uh, the right way and then just moved inside. Here we go. We've now got the full star and it's opening up and giving us a new model piece that we can use later on. But for now check the writings on the bot uh, bottom, on the top right side of this. There's like this alpha and the circle. This is going to be important for this puzzle here but we'll come back to that in a second again alpha and circle and the second one is next to this little opening we are on the top right you can see there's like the S and the A so first of all open up the box take out the, uh, the new object and then just check back the symbols again which we are going to use just right now so S and A is the symbol that we need right now now go to this far side and you will see that if you check it in uh, if you look at it there are on the left and the top side there are the icons that you have seen just now put it into the right position and then just look through the lens here and you will see that there's like a grid with four objects middle right left right and this is going to be important for the next puzzle so just head outside again and look for the little circle here that looks very very suspicious suspicious look through your lens put in the two magnets and looking through the lens you will see that the magnets are basically moving around the object so I was kind of trying to get this done here but it didn't really work out for me so I was trying to get the combination middle or right left right or left right left left I was trying to get the combination but the thing in the middle was just always moving away until I basically figured out well the easiest way to do this is just to go from top from the bottom to the top and then just do the top portion at the end so I basically came on that by mistake <laughs> at the end of the day so um, yeah let's continue here this is actually taking up a lot of time and it really is annoying I just I just got one of the locks unlocked by mistake I guess the second symbol is middle right right left and I got that by mistake so um, this is just like the first symbol that I told the first symbol combination that I told you just do the same thing over again with the grid you can just remember where uh, the way they are placed there and you can then use your magnet to get everything into position so here we are middle right left right that is the second lock and we have opened up this area now so here I am again checking back for um, uh, this is basically telling you this was the first icon that was the one that I uh, gave in as the last one and this icon I didn't actually enter it in because I came there by mistake but you can just go to this mechanism and just enter the combination and you will get the perfect combination for the grid there now just open the door and look what's inside there is a new wooden piece for our little puzzle take that with you now check back out of this area and go back to the model in the middle and you will see on the left hand side there's like this clock tower put inside the new model that we just got from the cupboard before open it up and you will see that you can again go inside and going inside you will have the next little animal puzzle this is again quite simple just have a look at the animal press all the buttons this one is fairly simple just move the old head up then turn it around then there's like this little key 
uh, not key there's like the switch you can turn around and just beneath the wing you will get a boat this boat is going to be used in just a second just head back out again and have a look at the larger map you will see that there's like a huge box here that is still missing just put in the box that we just got about two or three minutes ago from another puzzle put it inside now there is a way to the uh, to the reef that you can use here we are put inside the boat move it around it's going to open up and you can again have a look inside with your lens and yeah now it is the mouse or the rat I don't actually know just again uh, use the button turn the wheel around here there is going to be a new button just press the new button and at the end of the day you will simply again get oh two of the buttons are in the eyes I almost missed that and yeah after doing that you will get the key now head back outside again there's a lot of heading back outside here <laughs> So, um, now that we've got a new cylinder, we can use that on the final portion of the puzzle here. Just check back, check back here to this like round table and put on it the next piece of the puzzle, which is the cylinder, which will in turn activate the elevator, which will move you upstairs. And upstairs is another new puzzle item, which is the diver's helmet. So yeah, without talking a lot, let's just head back into the game and to the diver's helmet. Come on, try to move out. So let's check out the diver's helmet. The first thing you want to see is on the right hand side, there's like this opening. You can open this up and get an antler. This is going to be important for later on and the, the layer of the craftsman. You can read that if you want to, but you don't have to. So in the middle of the diver's helmet, there's like this talisman and co writing you will want to open that up by going for the screw on the right hand side of this and turning it around you will see that there are also three symbols so besides the little uh, the little item that you get the little screwy thing or whatever that is um, there are this <laughs> the three writings you will use that later on but for now just put in the rivet the little screwy thing that you just found and move it whoops I almost I just went out of the game here <laughs> So, now put that inside, open it up and you will find a metal acorn and also a switch that you can turn around. Just use the switch to see that there is a new opening down there, a wooden model piece. So first of all check the wooden acorn, open it up. This is going to be important later on but it's nice to already have it opened up for you. So what we're going to do next is we are going to head outside and go back to the table and there is still one open place missing in our little Westeros and it's not over here on the tower it's basically the big hole on the left hand side here we are put it inside you will see that again you will get like a little, a little stargazer or something now with the portion on the top part as I said in the first video whenever something is like riffled or something you can turn it around now use your lens to go inside again to have another another little animal puzzle. This time it's grasshopper. Put the legs down, then the wings will open. You will have a new switch, which you can if you are missing it. If you aren't missing, you can just activate. Then the switch, then the head is going to pull up. Pull out the head and you will get a metal pointer. Now this metal pointer is important if you go back out and to the diver's helmet. So let's have a look for the diver's helmet. Back there it is. On the left hand side of the diver's helmet, first of all, here are the icons that you have to remember. It's like S, cross, and the three hills or something. So go to the left hand side of the diver's helmet, put inside the nice metal arrow, and now turn it around to get the three, ob uh, the three icons that I just said. So the S, the cross, and the nice little mountains. Now after that you will see that the diver's helmet is moving on and you will get on the top right part a nice little copper tap which you can use just down here. Here you, are, here you see there's a handle but there's something missing just use the copper tap on it and pull the handle down and you will see that the diver's helmet the faceplate is going to open up a little. 
what you have to do now is to just get those two elements into position like this so they are capable of opening up the diver's helmet here we are so just unscrew it and here we go there is a nice little skull inside with a nice little crystal feel vial feel file i don't know what it's actually called just take that with you and now now let's head back to our nice little stonehenge here let's go inside here we go look inside and you will see that there is the nice little tree here put inside the acorn now spin around the acorn and it's going to open up with a skull now use the antler that you found before on the skull and you will see that there is something like odd here so what you want to do is just turn around the antlers that you will get uh, well some kind of symmetry here and once you do that you will see that the stone plate on top of the tower is going to open up now take the crystal file that the crystal vial vial <laughs> whatever put it inside and you will see that the stone is going to crush down and give you a new object which is the shining gemstone a uh, glowing gemstone now again head outside we have got the key we have got the glowing gemstone so it's time to finish this up go to the tower on the right hand side and just use the key on it now you can turn around the key and you will see that there is a hole opening here use your lens to go inside and you will see that you are in a new room with a mannequin and a nice little valve on the bottom left part just turn the valve around so that the hand of the of the mannequin is going to be fixed now again use your lens look inside the tower and you will be on the next level here it is fairly simple again just turn the wheel around and yeah fix the mannequin again yeah it is fairly simple it's just self-explanatory I guess yeah and uh, once you are done with that the mannequin is going to move around in the room and place this nice little whatever it is mini tower on top of the other tower and you're going to zoom out of the area and you will see that the tower is actually there where you just saw it now it's going to open up now zoom in and use the nice little glowing jam that you found before put it inside and you will see that it's going to be unlocked and you will have a illuminated lamp now this is almost the final piece of the chapter here so just wait for the cutscene to end you're going to move up now and yeah ah, you're, you're not actually moving up there's actually ele an elevator here first so just use the valve and well turn the upper piece around that you actually have a valve and with that you are going to be closing and the elevator is going to move up and once that is done we will be heading for the final little puzzle of this chapter the final puzzle is basically fairly simple I guess you should be able to figure it out yourself but here we are what you have to do now is to just have a look here you can see that they we want to go inside in order to do that you have to turn the valve you, you don't have to turn it around what you want to do is <coughs> sorry you wanna plug in one of the pieces of the valve and so you can turn around the valve and only one portion of the valve is going to move so once you have done that you have opened it up now whoops I went into so here we are <laughs> and now look in the upper part again turn it around so that you have a nice little opening here and into this opening we are going to place the lamp and with a lamp we are going to enlighten all of this area and that's about it this is the final piece take the little pyramid with you and you are finished with chapter one so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video uh, feel free to leave a like and or dislike if you liked or disliked this video and as always you can check back with us on Twitter or Facebook if you want to stay in touch with us or have any questions and as always you can of course leave any feedback in the comment section below and besides that you can well subscribe to our channel if you want to if you don't want to it's free to you but subscribing is free and we'd really enjoy you until then happy playing bye